Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, girl, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come through the building. And when you do, you already know what time it is. You want to hit that bell so you can be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, girl, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at g mail.com okay also if you would like to go ahead and catch me over on facebook or patreon go ahead and look in the bio section beneath this video also if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel girl little three dollar little six dollar little nine dollar little twelve dollar little fifteen dollar girl go ahead hit me up at df tarot t at cash app or paypal y'all let's go ahead and jump into it so there's 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 typically an issue okay of these karmic energies that want to try to control the divine y'all i don't know if y'all ever peeped this these narcissistic energies y'all they be all through the karmic community trying to control or drain or you know boss around the divine collective um I see it all the time. Also, it came up on the board in the previous reading. So I'm going to go ahead and look into this because, yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead and freestyle it because I just want to know why. Like, where do these energies come from? Who's trying to control who and for what, baby? Why are these comics always think they're supposed to be stepping in and trying to control somebody, okay? Period. Mask on. Come through spirit with the confirmation okay the false self is being projected to the outside world this is all about folks that are just coming through here fake need i say more okay affection and determination that's a mask okay that that's what we know they coming through I'm, you know i'm cool i'm feeling you i'm determined let's be cool let's be friends ambition yada 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 Girl, please. Point out the road I must travel. I'm all ears, all eyes before you. Psalm 143 and 10. That's why it's important that we keep our eyes fixed on the most high that is going to keep us on the righteous road, okay, on the main road because folks be cutting up. They're not even always who they say they are. God is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. Psalm 145 and 3, period. Got to remember who really runs everything and who really is in charge of our destinies, okay? Rush hours. Funny thing, a good way to recognize this controlling energy is they always trying to come in, run in right quick, jump into a friendship, jump into a relationship, okay? Whatever it is, they always want to gossip and shit, smoke break, smoke break, okay? They're speaking dead words, okay, period. They're speaking dead words. They have dead energies around them. These are people that what's coming out of their mouth ain't really about nothing. Again, their mask is on. These are things you want to look for with these energies. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19 and 21. The plans in their heart that are coming out of their mouth, y'all, are foul. Foul air, foul wind, gossip, lies, okay? Sometimes you just realize people are liars, okay? You will have folks around you that are perpetrating one thing that they feel one way about you that they really don't even feel, okay? Or you have people around you that's lying to you because they want you to look at them and see them in a certain way that they ain't. They want your devotion, okay? They want your devotion. Vine, okay? They out here talking shit, okay? Seeking out information on you, okay? Got to keep your intuition king. Will of Fortune energy coming through the room. So we see a shift. And I bet the shift is that we finna see these people with their mask off. Because once we see that mask was on, we know we finna get that revelation. Okay? Revelation energy come through. Okay? This thing got disgusting out here, y'all. June. Okay? Is that a name? <laughs> June. Okay? We see elephant. A long journey. Okay? Many of these people have been on a long journey with their misery and their bitterness and think they're going to take you on one. Ten of Wands energy, no ma'am. Ten of Wands energy coming through the building, okay? That card a little racy, you have to turn it over. Ten of Wands energy, these people are already carrying a heavy load. They're often backstabbers, okay? Have no problem causing pain. Five of Swords energy to others. 
Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Philippians 4 and 6, okay? Listen. Dolphin, okay? People hating on you because they think you got the... These are people that are hating on you and trying to control you because they think you have the propensity to make more money than them. I didn't say you had more money than them. You have the propensity to make more money than them. I'm getting my shit together. Just talking. These are people that are all talk. You're not talk, you're action. These are people that are coming around you telling you they got a business because they see you got one for real. Okay? Evaluate the people that are around you and evaluate the things they're telling you. Okay? Evaluate the things they are telling you. I promise you. You'd be surprised. You really listen. People be saying shit a lot of times. It's just like paradise. Okay? Cry me a river coming around you, telling you things is great. And whole time in the background, these people going to bed crying their asses off. Fake. Fake, fake, fake. Okay? Fake people, they want to come around and divine and be believed because let me tell you something. Okay? When you have a divine energy that believes in you, a lot of these narcissists and stuff are going to use the divine energy, empath energy, to believe in them to make their fake delusions and fantasies real right? It's not real unless somebody else believe it. And what better than somebody that's got a, a high frequency spiritual energy, tell them your lies. If they believe you, you can really feel good about yourself. It's a lot of that going on, y'all. These people are lacking in dignity, but they come latch on to you because they know you got some, okay? They come latch on to you to do, what did I just say? Visiting your dreams, okay? Somebody to come through and put their dreams on. They ain't that girl. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to open my own modeling agency. Girl, you work at the currency exchange. And they only giving you five hours up there. Who are you talking to? Okay. You're controlling. Thank you, spirit, for the confirmation. Controlling. Trying to control how you see them. Trying to control what you think of them. Trying to control how you look at situations. I'm telling you, they're telling you who they want you to think they are. Girl, I'm, I'm finna be out. I'm finna be at the next Diddy party. Bitch, Diddy in jail. Just lying. Just lying. Say anything. Okay? Trying to make a fool out of somebody. Karmic energies. Mask is always on. Who they say they are and who they are, not even close. Okay? Enlightenment. Guinevere. True love, okay? This is somebody that's jealous of the fact that you get a lot of divine downloads, light codes, divine wisdom. They're jealous because you have true love in your life. You know, somebody feeling you, somebody, but it's different. It's true. It's real. They're jealous because you stand in queen energy. I'm going to go ahead and read, reach out this quote on Guinevere, okay? The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. That's what they're jealous of. They're jealous because your energy brings in love. Somebody is walking around in an energy that brings in love. Somebody has a loving energy. They're using loving words. They're vibrant. Their energy is like bright colors. You might wear bright colors. You might keep bright colors in your house. You have bright words, bright personality, bright humor, okay? You have a, you're bright. You brighten your mind. You're witty. You, you know, you read a lot. You got stuff to talk about. People like you. People remember you. You got charisma. You got charm. You got, you know, the ability to just kind Kind of anoint the room with your divine energy. You're a bright light. You're warm. You heat it up. They jealous of this because they can't do it. Of course they can't do it. They got a mask on. They're fake. Of course. And the thing about it is they're only ever really going to be surrounded by other karmics, other fakes, and other phonies because real people can always tell who's fake. Okay? Real lies, real lies, real lies. Okay? You can shout out to Mark. Okay? Real eyes, realize real lies, okay? And that's very typical of the divine collective. Somebody that's real is just going to look right at it and be like, you know, something with this person ain't. Mm-mm, something ain't right. So they're always hanging around people that aren't half the, the caliber of what those people believing in them, a karmic having karmics believe in them doesn't mean anything. It doesn't satisfy those empty holes, hollows, and narcissistic demons and vanity in them that needs to be fed. If other liars 
believe that my lying ass ain't a liar, what can that really do for them? They want to come around and feed on pure energy. That's just all there is to that. This is an antichrist energy. You know, this is so somebody that doesn't walk in the light. They don't walk in honesty. They're walking around with a mask on. That's demonic, okay? Justice card energy coming through the building. I accept renewal and delight and fresh starts, okay? So this is somebody that really needs to go to God themselves for some type of deliverance so that they can just deal with whatever karma they, ha they have to deal with and whatever uh, bloodline curses that are on them to have them out here dealing with so much abuse. Okay, at some point in their life that they're out here with a mask on, perpetrating, pretending, and so on and so forth. But they need to have that conversation with the most high, okay, and quit wasting folks' time. Um, that's what I can say. Okay, they need to renew and come into come into their their own. Cause this ain't it. Whatever this is they got going on, this 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 ain't no. Okay. It's negative, it's ugliness. Okay, soul connection, okay, and coughing. I think y'all already know these are two cards we never want to see together. Okay, soul connection, coughing, dog, close up. I mean, there it is. But see, these energies, they try to come in and latch on. We see the soul connection, that's what they want to do. They want to latch on to a divine energy. They're coming through. They want to latch on to you and bring you into this. They're hollow inside. So this is somebody that wants to put you in the coffin. And then they be out here with their soul lit up. Because they didn't connect it to you and drain you. Okay? Dog, close up. I know that's right. Look at them for who they really are. Ain't shit. Okay? And ain't. Okay? Guiding children energy with boats. OK, this is somebody who in their childhood, nobody really guided them in the right direction. We're both. We see the six of swords energy and that's the problem. OK, again, all they know how to do is mimic. We see girlfriends here. This is a mirror image of two women on this card. They mimic, they glamour, they're in copycat energy. They're just around you, sucking energy from you. Their name might be April Girl. OK, this is somebody that's just around you. Your name might be April as well. Somebody that's just around you, you know trying to make themselves valuable based on your gaze, your belief, your opinion of them. They're just trying to steal some self-esteem in a nutshell, okay? That's it, that's all. Somebody is just trying to steal some self-worth by looking valuable to somebody they know is valuable, which is just sad. When you get right down to it, Wheel of Fortune with the moon, okay? King of Wands energy, Knight of Wands energy, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Y'all, you know, things are shifting for this person, but most importantly, things are shifting for you. Somebody is in a divine collective, y'all. One of y'all, some of us, all of us are really just now really waking up to really see the types of hidden things that are going on around some of the people around us that are portraying themselves as charismatic go-getters, okay? They're not. They're portraying themselves as these charismatic go-getters. And when you look at them for who they really are, I mean, these are people that have planted a lot of seeds in the minds of people, aka manipulators, to make themselves look like they're in the Six of Wands, to make themselves look victorious, to make themselves appear successful, to make themselves seem like so much shit is coming to them. And it's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. It's really time for us to wake up and kind of spot the imposters. What did I just say? Imposters, hermit energy. These people are empty. These people are lonely. These people are sad. Queen of Wands with the chariot. And these people are just kind of hitching themselves to other folks' wagons so they can look like they're a part of a family 
And they may also be trying to appear to run the family. That's where the controlling energy is coming from, emperor energy. Not only are they fraudulent, they're going to get in the fraudulent situation with you, try to charm you, try to get you to think there's somebody they're not, trying to manipulate you and plant false seeds, okay, and have you thinking they got success they don't even have, knowing they lonely ass is sitting at home, feeling bad, feeling insecure, knowing they didn't really earn their position, knowing they really don't have no right to sit on the throne they own, acting like all this momentum is going on around them and y'all a team and all this and that, when this is really just somebody who's trying to recreate the karmic family they grew up in, okay, by acting like they can lead and control some shit like their daddy probably would. There it is right there. Queen of Pentacles, okay. This person is trying to kind of trap your energy to them, because they know you're valuable, once again, Queen of Pentacles, and kind of keep you restricted to them. Typical narcissistic energy, okay? So that they can kind of come out of those relationships with you better themselves, looking like more of a charmer themselves, okay? People that have conversations with you and hear that you're smart and intellectual, then take the cool shit you said into a conversation with somebody else. Somebody that's hanging around you, watching you, watching how you move, then you start to notice they're dressing like you and going out to parties with shit on that they, you know you already wore three months ago. Okay, trying to learn your recipe, trying to figure out how it is that you're so confident, trying to figure out how it is that you landed that man or woman that you got, trying to figure out how it is that you the coldest dude on the job or you the coldest girl on the job, trying to figure out how it is that you got what you got, trying to figure out how it is that you acquired that car, trying to figure out why it is your mama love you so much when they mama ain't never been able to stand them, okay? Somebody that's coming around you just trying to get the recipe. Okay, that is what we see. And we all know that divinity is not a recipe. Divinity is a gift from God for those who seek it. Seek and he, seek and you shall find. Okay, so this don't have nothing to do with a recipe. But when somebody is in karmic energy, antichrist energy, we know they can't create and they can't sense God until they humble themselves and really go to God for real. Okay, so they can't create. So all they know to do, they say, well, I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. I do know I'm whack as shit. I don't know everything, but I know that. Let me see if I can go ahead on and piggyback off of this fly ass person. And maybe that'll get me from point A to point B. Okay. Five of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. This person is bringing grief to themselves. They're bringing grief to what little talents they do have. They're bringing grief to how people view them and what light shines on them in the minds of other people. Sun card energy. They're bringing grief. Nine of Wands. The magician, they're bringing plenty of damn grief on themselves. Okay, they're bringing additional hurt and they're also going to get exposed for what this is. It's basically black magic. Okay, trying to drain somebody for your own use. Okay. Period. Queen of Cups energy. There's really not anything you need to do. Nothing you even really need to say. Somebody has already been having visions and dreams that are kind of revealing to you who the snake is, who the phony is, who the person with the mask on is. So all you really have to do is continue to work hard and be diligent in your spiritual energy and your relationship with the Most High because, baby, this person is, they doing it to themselves. Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Swords. Make sure you pray moving forward to ensure that your connections and your unions with people are protected and you're only really attracting divine energies because these types of energies, because they live at the death frequency and not in the good transformative rebirthing part of it either, okay? Because they live in the underworld and want everybody else down there with them, these types of energies are always contemplating how to hitch themselves to the divine, okay? They're always trying to figure out how to stick themselves into the divine's lifestyle or energies or circles, the hangman in the upright, okay? Pray them off you, okay? Just make sure you're always praying for coverage and protection against these people's dark and dirty and demonic plans, their uh, instability, mental instability and instability of self-worth, their fighting, their nonsense, their confusion, the barriers they bring, okay? The strongholds they attempt to enlist, okay? Period. Make sure you pray against those things and continue to stand in abundance, okay? Because we ain't got time for the bullshittery. If you have enjoyed this, Good old divine feminine tarot tea girl. Please go ahead and like and share and subscribe. Okay, now be afraid to come through the vault again when you do. You can hit the bell. So you can be here every single time me and the TT 
team are up in here getting in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? And once again, if you would like a personal reading from me, go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Calm, okay. Also, if you are still here, still kicking it, still hanging out, still being a part of the tea, okay, go ahead and put a young 1952 in the comment section because it was a smooth 1952 when I said what I said, okay. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, girl, don't hesitate to go ahead and hit me up at DF Tarot T at Cash App or PayPal, girl. Go and drop off a little four dollar, five dollar, eight dollar, fifteen dollar, okay, over to that DF Tarot T at Cash App or PayPal, girl. A little two. 22, little 333, little 777, girl, little some little tea, little some little change, okay? Little change, little something like help a sister out, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.